Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carla and on this channel I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, then please subscribe down below. Alright, so today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some fashion mistakes we all, and I say we all because I make these mistakes as well, we all need to stop making. I made a list um, on my phone so when you see me with my phone that is what I am looking at um, let me just start off by saying like some of these things if you want to continue doing it continue doing it right these are just things that I'm seeing these are pretty much my opinions um, I have I just said that I make these mistakes as well so yeah if you want to continue doing it continue doing it if that's what makes you happy if that's what makes you comfortable that's all that matters what i'm saying really it's me sharing tips but don't let it affect you don't let what i'm saying affect you if it's not making you happy if it's not making you feel comfortable with yourself do you do you boo the first fashion mistake that we all need to stop making is not wearing a body shaper or an undergarment Guys, I have to work on this myself. And I see like, I see it a lot. I see it a lot and I'm like, why? Why didn't you throw it on? Um, and I asked myself that, why didn't I throw it on? Like, I know it's easy. I hate wearing them because they're so uncomfortable. But then when I look back at my pictures, I'm like, why girl? Why didn't you throw one on? It's so easy, it just, you know, it sucks you in, it shapes you, and let me just clear this up really quickly. Undergarments and body shapers, any size person can wear them. Like, you don't have to be curvier or whatever. Thin women wear undergarments as well because the purpose of it is to just give like a nice, seamless, straight, look if that makes sense um that is the purpose of an undergarment so anyone can wear an undergarment and again i need to work on doing that myself okay the next fashion mistake that i see a lot is not ironing or steaming your clothing um like i mean i have seen some amazing outfits amazing outfits just kind of not look all that great they still look dope because i'm sitting here saying they're amazing but they could just look that much better if the outfit was ironed out or steamed out like those wrinkles it just does not so good things to your outfit so work on it if you're someone who just doesn't have time maybe try ironing or steaming your outfit the day before or get a steamer i've shared this before on my channel amazon sells some amazing steamers uh you just heat that thing up add some water and it steams your clothing so quickly i've done it again that's why i keep saying we all make these mistakes no one you know we all do them we all do them but i'm working on making sure that i iron and steam sometimes i know it's a struggle but if you're into how you look if it makes you happy because some people will ask why do you care how you're dressed? Like, why do you care to pay so much for that? Or why? Because it's what's, it, it's fashion makes me happy, right? So if fashion makes you happy and you just want to look your best, consider ironing or steaming your clothing because it just goes a long way. The next fashion mistake is not wearing accessories or not wearing enough accessories. So myself, I always I literally always have a necklace on because I just feel like even the smallest of necklaces make, can make such a big difference or big change or elevate your outfit so much more than what it is right I literally actually just made a video on quick and easy ways to elevate your outfit and accessories was one of them and I could literally show you this so quickly so as you're watching me here, you can see my necklace. If I tuck this necklace in, this is my outfit. It's not bad. 
it's not a bad outfit it's just that the necklace can elevate it so much more and when you're wearing black if you get a gold like any kind of gold accessories it just stands out so much more that black and gold just looks really nice together the silver doesn't look bad but the gold just looks so much better with black so go out there and get some accessories um you can get fashion just costume jewelry um you can get them anywhere anywhere like you can pay five ten twenty dollars if you want to you can go to the more higher end costume jewelry so we're talking like the Dior's the Louis Vuitton's those kinds of places but either way just start adding some accessories to your outfit the next thing I want to mention is an Apple watch um I don't know why this happens I don't know I take my watches off so maybe that's why I just don't understand um but sometimes I'll see like a beautiful dress like elegant beautiful dress and then there's the Apple watch and I'm like no take the Apple watch off um I don't know I don't know if there needs to be a reminder maybe a quick run through when others or some people get ready in front of the mirror just check your arm try to remember to take your Apple watch off and I know that there are different bands that you can throw on but I just feel like still I don't know if it's the shape I think it's the shape of the face that square look I just feel like it doesn't it does no right or good to your dress like or like especially when you're getting very dressed up like if you're wearing like just some jeans and something casual fine you can keep your Apple watch on I think it's when you're starting to get really dressy that elegant look and you keep that Apple watch on it's just it has to go unfortunately I don't mean to sound like this awful person but maybe just consider a different kind of watch maybe something thinner with a smaller face um, much more elegant but the Apple watch is a no it's a no I'm sorry but it's a no all right, another quick fashion mistake is thinking that neutral colors are the only way to look elegant, um, if that makes sense. And I've done this before. There's almost this thinking of the only way to look elegant, the only way to like show up to an interview, and that's still the thinking. Like, it's almost tricky even mentioning this in this video because I almost want to still encourage you to go to an interview with your blacks and your browns and your whites because that's literally the mentality overall. But I wish it could kind of change because you don't have to wear neutrals all the time and it's not the only way to look elegant um, but there's this thinking that the basics that's it that's the only way to look elegant but no we kind of we kind of have to find a way to get away from that like the all blacks it's nice it's nice but I feel like especially the all black it's just so boring I know that sounds crazy it's just boring even if you like let's say let's say and I know I'm focusing so much on this section right now it's because it's actually something that I'm just really trying to understand like why the thinking is just neutrals but let's say we entertained it a little bit maybe try adding some textures some dimensions to your all black outfit maybe wear like a lacy top with a blazer and kind of just bring it up a little bit like bring your blazer because sorry it's a little dirty but just doing that alone adds dimensions and it acts adds texture but I just feel like adding that little pop of color makes the biggest difference it just it's fun color is fun color is happy um and yeah and I'm gonna mention again and like I said in the beginning of this video if color doesn't make you happy if color makes you uncomfortable then don't feel pressured to wear color don't feel pressured do what makes you happy and do what makes you comfortable but if you're okay trying color 
keep trying it keep incorporating it because it's just it's amazing it's fashion it's fun it's art fashion is art and color and all of that just adds more fun and happiness to your art piece Okay, I wanna share two more things. I have a long list, but I'm, I think I'm gonna make this into like a parts video. I'm gonna share two more things. The first thing is not wearing a belt. I don't know why, there's almost like, I don't know, it's not really a fear, because I don't think it's a fear. I think we just forget. We forget to throw a belt on. Like the only times you'll really see a belt is maybe if you wanna just add it here to add a little something different but sometimes just take a peek at your jeans and i've said this before on my channel but the belt loops are there for a reason and i've done this i've worn my pants without a belt on and like it doesn't look bad but i always feel like why didn't carla why didn't you put a belt on like why did you not put a belt on and i think it's just a mentality um but I just feel like we need to start wearing belts more because they do so much for our outfit. They serve a purpose, right? They Belts definitely serve, serve a purpose, but it serves even more of a per, um, purpose when you're adding it to your outfit. I just, I love belts. I love belts. I, and I feel like many other people out there do not wear belts as much as they should be worn. Um, so that's why I, wa I wanted to mention it in this video. Um, and I do feel like it's a mistake. We should be, we should do better with belts. Belts are stunning. They're stunning. There's like a wide variety of belts out there. A belt that I've been keeping my eye on and I don't know why I have not pulled the trigger. I think there's like this thinking in me of, I just don't want to get it because I feel like it's kind of trendy. Um, and it's the Loewe belt, right? It's that belt that you've pretty much probably seen. It goes here and then it kind of comes out. It looks great with like those slip dresses, but I feel like even with this blazer and some jeans, I feel like it would look very nice. Like you put that belt on and it just, I don't know. It First of all, it cinches you in and it adds shape. Like it just gives you that hourglass beautiful look. Um, but yeah, that's just one of the belts that I've been thinking about getting, but definitely start trying to incorporate belts more. And I'll mention this again. It does not have to be a Loewe belt. It can be something like this. This belt is from Boohoo, but it just literally does so much to your outfit. Look at that. Tie that up. And just like that, it changes the look of your outfit. You can leave it open, look at that. Like cinched in, changes the look of the entire outfit. I just love belts and I feel like we need to start incorporating them more in our, in our fits. We need to see them more, more belts. The last fashion mistake that we all need to work on is the oversized vibe. Um, some people love wearing oversized outfits and some people pull it off very well. So don't, I don't want to say that, you know, a, an entire oversized outfit is an awful thing. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is sometimes like we miss the marker. Um, and it's as easy as, and I always recommend this, always recommend this. If you're going to go oversized, Try to make it so that one part is oversized and one is more fitted. I just feel like that looks so much better and it, your body is not hidden underneath your clothing. Again, for some people, they're not comfortable with themselves yet. And I say yet because I always hope that people can just love themselves and love the skin that they're in because that's just who we are. That's what we have, right? That's what we have. So I almost would wish that people would just love themselves, but I understand as well that that's easier said than done because there's so much even in myself that I'm like, I wish I could change this, I wish I could change that. I still love myself in the moment, but I also understand that it's difficult and it's a mindset. And mentally I have to tell myself so much sometimes to just realize like, Carla, this is what you have. 
this is what you have so love and appreciate me for who I am and the skin that I'm in right now I understand that it's difficult but I, 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 and I wanted to say that because I'm like, you know, I understand for some people the oversized outfit is for a different reason. But if you're doing it primarily for fashion, try to do it in a way where either you get like a more fitted top and oversized bottoms, right? Or if you want, you can do fitted bottoms and an oversized top that's where you see sometimes the leggings and an oversized sweatshirt it just gives your body shape because if you wore like big old wide leg pants and like an oversized sweatshirt it's it's too much what you can do if you're doing that is maybe add a belt again just to give some kind of dimension and some kind of shape but i always recommend just just do one either the top big and the bottoms tighter or the bottoms big and the top tighter i think that said that correctly i kind of have something i'm gonna actually adjust hopefully you can kind of see what i'm talking about here um but my pants are pretty oversized um and what i did was i have this blazer which is big as well but you guys saw me put the belt on so it immediately just gave me some kind of shape still oversized on the top and the bottom but it gives me shape if I took this belt off this is what we're working with like it's not awful it's not awful but I feel like the belt just does the outfit so much more and without the blazer on guys this is actually what my outfit looks like like I have a fitted top on and then my pants are more on the oversized side of things um so yeah and to be honest i could wear some undergarments because i feel like it would look i would be looking like like yeah i feel like it would look so much better again there's no shame at all no shame at all in wearing undergarments at all um i know i kind of went back to a previous one but i wanted to kind of incorporate that a little bit so yeah like i mentioned i'm gonna probably do a part two to this because i have so many other tips and i didn't want to make this video so long because i realized by now that a lot of you like shorter videos i love to talk like i love to talk and right now i do realize that <laughs> It's not, not many people want to hear me speak so much. Um, I want to share a good amount of information, but I don't want to like go off on a tangent and just keep going and going and going. So I'm, I'm working on that, but I also don't want to change myself either because I, I love to speak. But when I, it's weird. If you know me, cause I know some of you that watch my videos know me, know me. Um, when you first met me, I could care less to say a word to anyone it's so weird like I think I'm like socially I don't want to say yeah I'm probably a little socially awkward but once I'm comfortable forget it and I've started to get a little comfortable behind the camera so that's where I find myself going off and, and talking a lot like I'm doing right now so let me reel it in but yeah I'm gonna make a part two to this um if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up guys liking my video gets my videos out there so give my videos a thumbs up share them with your friends if you have any question ask me in the comment section down below if you need me to link anything um if you're looking for anything I'll have it in the description box I'll probably share this hat um in case you have any questions on it the bottoms I shared in a haul but if you have any questions just like I said ask me in the comment section down below and I'll get the link for you and share it there remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well guys see you in the next video